Hey everybody, Jeff Firefile, Sort of Systems, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about security and how it relates to using the cloud for storage. So top of mind for a lot of people when they talk about using the cloud for storage is, is security, and there's, there's really three primary uh, tenets of that that I want to discuss. The first is secure communication to my, to my cloud provider. You know, how, how do I make sure that the cloud provider I'm talking to is indeed the cloud provider that I, I, I contracted with, and, and what are the mechanisms there? The second thing is, okay, now that I have a secure connection, how do I make sure my data is safe? So the idea of encryption comes into play. How is that done? And then the third thing is, if I'm doing encryption, naturally, how are my keys being managed? And, and primarily, where are they being stored? Which is the, the more critical question. So when you're looking at using the cloud for storage, in terms of the secure communication with the provider, most of the providers provide SSL encrypted endpoints. So you want to make sure that the, the, the cloud controller solution that you go with supports the ability to do SSL uh, and, and talk to the cloud provider and, and verify the integrity and the validity of the cloud provider, typically through some sort of certificate mechanism. Um, so that, that's, that's one key component. Now that you have this session set up and established, you want to make sure that you're encrypting your data. Obviously, you're sending your data outside the four walls of your data center. You're sending it to a, a third-party organization. So you want to make sure that your data is encrypted locally on the box here on the cloud controller you, because you want the data going over the wire in encrypted fashion. You want it stored at the cloud provider in encrypted fashion. And you want it to be able to be retrieved and come back over the wire in encrypted fashion. And ideally, you're going to want to use some industry standard like AES-128 or AES-256 to do this. And then the last thing you want to really make sure of is where are the keys stored and how are they managed? So ideally, you want to make sure that the keys are stored directly on the cloud controller because in this way you have complete access and control over the keys, which, which essentially manages how the data is encrypted, such that any data that sits out here at the cloud provider can't be decrypted without these keys. And if these keys sit here and these keys are never transferred to the cloud, then your data is very secure. Now, Certus addresses these three things in some very unique ways. The first, with respect to the secure communications, the system will do SSL communication between the cloud providers and will validate automatically and transparently the certificate of the cloud provider to maintain and make sure there's no man in the middle attacks or any kind of spoofing. Secondly, we'll actually store the credentials that you've set up already with the cloud provider and manage those credentials and use those credentials on your behalf to talk to the provider to gain access to the data. With respect to encryption, the Certus BlueJet will do AES-256 encryption directly on the system here before it goes over the wire. This, the data is stored in the cloud encrypted and then comes back over the wire encrypted. And we're going to use AES-256 and that's done across all your volumes and all your pools. And then the last thing is we'll actually, the Certus BlueJet will actually store the key, the encryption key, directly on the cloud controller. It will never send that key over the wire. It'll never save the key here in the cloud. So the key is always stored here locally in the controller so that you have full control access in, in, in modification of that. So just kind of net net, the three things, three important things you need to concern yourself with res with respect to cloud storage. Make sure you have a secure communication to the provider and you're able to validate the integrity and validity of that. Make sure you're encrypting your data prior to it going off on site and make sure that the keys are being stored locally. Thanks. Mm -hmm.